Here's a question where uh, we are asked to uh, determine by using synthetic division whether these two are zeros of this polynomial. Okay, so uh, need to use synthetic division. Okay, well let's let's start. Let's uh, write these numbers out. So one minus four, four, and negative sixteen. Let me make sure I got my signs right. Yep. Uh, also make sure that you've got cubes squared to the first power and nothing. Okay, so uh, I think we're set there. So let's first try this i. These are a little funny, eh, because complex numbers, but we'll see how they go. Uh, so I need to put an i right there. So I bring down my 1, <coughs> multiply, 1 times i would be i. Oh, now I add. So minus 4 plus i, I can't really do, so I'll have to write minus 4 plus i. That looks a little funny. Okay, so now let's multiply this one times this one. Ooh, that's going to be like this. i times minus 4 plus i. So i times minus 4 is minus 4i. i times i is i squared. And i squared is the same thing as negative 1, right? Okay, so this is what I write up here minus 4i minus 1. Okay, now add. So I'll have a minus 4i, and then 4 take away 1 would be still plus 3. Oh, this is ugly, eh? All right, so now let's take this and multiply it by that. So I got, I have, um, I have to multiply it by this. i times minus 4i would be minus 4i squared, but i squared is a negative 1, so that'll be a positive 4. i times 3 would be a positive 3i. So that's what goes up right here. 4 plus 3i. Then uh, add, so this would be uh, tw negative 12 plus 3i. Notice at the end here, I did not get a remainder of 0. Therefore, I would say i is not a zero of that polynomial that they had up above, g of x. Okay, and then I do the same thing with 2i. My bets is that it isn't, but uh, I'd have to do it out. Okay, hopefully that helps you with that question.